I'm Sarah Singer and I am the managing editor of Mike. My name is Anthony Sessa, I'm the VP of product at Mike. Mike is a new site for young people. We were policy make at a given time and only covered policy. Now we're covering a vast array of different topics, which is a big part of being a media company and a news company. We do a lot of breaking news and trending stories that are related to one day's news or a single event as it unrolls in the news cycle. But we do a lot of zoom out analysis and trend pieces that speak to just huge issues that young people care about. And Getty has helped us tell in a visually compelling way both types of stories. That's you know why it's been such a great resource for our newsroom. The images from an editorial perspective and specifically from a social perspective are incredibly important. A good headline makes a story and might get people to click, but psychologically people are looking at the images first, regardless of how good the headline is. The Getty Images API has allowed us to streamline the editorial's workflow in a way where they don't have to leave the content management system that we've built to find images and also they don't have to manually put in any metadata. And uh, every time we've had a request from the editorial staff for additional metadata to be put in from a journalistic standards perspective, Getty has always had that metadata for us ready. At Mike, we're increasing our breaking news coverage essentially and time to market was a big deal for that desk. If we lose two hours of of images from one of these providers, it's a big deal for editorial staff. We can't really produce articles as, as quickly as they would need to. So I would say it's top notch. It's always been top notch. The images have supplemented our written narratives in a way that has enabled us to be part of these huge intersectional conversations as they're unfolding. Our readers, like all young people, consume so much of their news through social networks. You're bombarded with a tremendous amount of information on social networks. In packaging stories, we only have a split second of readers' attention to really incentivize them to click into a Mike story, and the image is a huge part of that. The reason Getty was so important is it offers a subset of images that we didn't see anywhere else. And then additionally, the API and the technical aspect was much better than anything we were seeing out there. And oftentimes, visuals can tell a story more powerfully than words. What I personally love about Getty Images is the range of images and how relevant they are to the range of content that Mike puts out every day.